You've probably already seen this video of a Delta Airlines employee not doing the whole pronouns thing as he tries to solve a customer's problem. But in case you haven't, I'll play it for you right now and give you some fun little interesting tidbits at the end of it. Watch this and we will discuss. And what about when a Delta employee misgenders you so intentionally? While, she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, she did do it intentionally twice. Yeah, she's talking to me too. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have Port Authority escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to play that game with me, okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that, it's a great video of. Something that I think we all probably wish we would do if we were in the particular situation that this Delta employee finds himself in. But the thing that I think is funny here is that, well, one, first and foremost, this video has been seen millions of times at this point. Uh, the Delta guy just not getting into it with the pronouns guy, and then the pronouns guy eventually just giving up. Um, I can tell you who he is. <sighs> The guy's name is Tommy Dorfman. He's a Hollywood actor and model uh, who filmed himself uh, at the Delta Airline desk. Um, apparently, this dude is a friend of Dylan Mulvaney and only transitioned back in 2021 um, and began berating the Delta staff for misgendering them and using the wrong pronouns. But here's, I think, the thing that, the thing that I think is uh, interesting and awesome about this. This video has been seen, jeez, tens of millions of times already on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you watch your videos. And up until this point, which is three days after this video first came onto the scene, up until this point, Delta has not, to my knowledge, issued any sort of statement, any sort of press release. The last press release they did was like six, 16 days ago. I looked. They haven't said anything about it. They haven't apologized to the trans community. They haven't done all of the things that I think only a year ago they would have done. If this were a company, again, geez, not even 12 months ago, that had this interaction happen where an employee of theirs went viral for misgendering somebody, I think the company in the first hours of this would have issued a statement and an apology saying, we at Delta support the rights of everyone to blah, 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 blah. But they haven't done it yet. And honestly, at this point, I don't think they will. A couple things are happening there. One, I think they realize the news of the day, the viral clip of the time eventually fades away and people forget about it and don't talk about it anymore. I think they realize that and understand that if they just wait it out, nothing's going to happen. Two, I think they've also seen what's happened to Bud Light, to Target, to all of these different woke companies that push this gender-bending nonsense on everybody, and they don't want that to happen to them. You also got to consider where Delta's based. It's in Atlanta. Just from the demographics of Atlanta, heavily black population. A lot of, well, a lot of Atlanta residents use Delta Airlines as, as it is the major airline in that Atlanta hub. If you cross-reference the groups of people that are super in support of the transgender stuff and the people that are not, I'll let you think where the Atlanta residents fall on that scale. So that's a couple reasons why I don't think they've issued a statement. Um, the last interesting thing that I thought was fascinating about this, honestly, is the inclusivity page on the Delta website. Now, I just went on a whole thing of saying, well, Delta hasn't done that yet. Yeah, but they did, they did all of the stuff, I don't know, back in 2022, beginning of 2022 when this was all the rage, changing your gender pronouns, they said, yeah, go ahead, fine. And I don't really blame them for that. That's just kind of 
the culture at the time, and they probably just didn't take it down because they don't feel like taking it down. Where I would like to judge companies and businesses is where they are right now, which appears to be, yeah, we're going to let this blow over and we're not going to issue a statement about it. But on that page from 2022 where Delta outlines its new inclusivity efforts, it says that uh, they are launching a non-binary gender options for customers to select during their booking process. Delta customers will now be able to select X for unspecified or U for undisclosed in addition to male or female to identify their gender on Delta's travel system. I don't think that still applies to TSA, but Delta says in our internal system, fine, you can choose X or U or whatever. Now that's not the interesting part. The interesting part that I thought was at the very bottom of this page, if you scroll all the way down, it says this. Currently, two countries, Egypt and Kuwait, are denying entry to passengers who identify their gender as X or U. While Delta does not fly directly to either of those countries, your, travels, travel, your travelers can connect with some of our travel partners. Please take this into consideration when booking your travelers. Isn't that interesting? Apparently, uh, there are still two country holdouts, Egypt and Kuwait, that say, no, you, you got to pick the male or female. We're not doing any of this gender stuff. Just M or F. Which, which one? I thought that was interesting. But anyways, uh, at least up until this moment when this video is being filmed, the Delta powers that be have not issued a statement apologizing profusely to the trans community. And uh, at this point in time, if they haven't done it already, I doubt they will.